Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have two teams for you for the world event. I got a high level team and a low level team. And the weapon I'm using is in the Soul Forge right now for both teams. Um, so, and two different weapons too. So, yeah, let's get started here with the world event. Um, what's it called? Uh, the Red Ruby Red Herring, I think. Um, here is the high level team, uh, Magma Dragon is the thing you want to go with. Uh, remember these are just ideas, you can, um, mix and match, you can just use the main troop, I say, the main weapon, you can do whatever you want to do, uh, these are just ideas to get you started, but we have a spell damage medal, so you really want to be hitting all enemies with spell damage if you can. So the Magma Dragon is on the, uh, world record team for pet rescue. So it's obviously one of the best uh, troops in the game that hits all enemies. Um, goes really well with Phoenicia, but we can't use Phoenicia here. Our restriction is uh, Broken Spire, so we got to use Broken Spire troops. So went with Magma Dragon. It deals damage to all enemies, boosted by um, I think brown and red gems. So we got uh, the Flame Troll up top to make a bunch of uh, red to get us started. We got uh, Womp down at the bottom, which is in the Soul Forge right now which does red and brown based off of uh, Broken Spire allies. And uh, to make yourself Broken Spire, you do Warlord, which has a red storm. It has Fireblade. It has all that stuff, even though we wouldn't be using Fireblade at the bottom of the team. But if you want to, you could switch up the order and uh, try to use that. But that's skull damage anyway. We're doing spell damage. And then we got Pygrid there. So we got uh, a summon if we need it. Like, say stuff gets hairy later on. Um... You might be able to get a summon from that Pygra, too. And the uh, Flame Troll has, a, I think it has 50% Skull Mitigation now. I've, it tricked me before with the Troll that didn't have it, but I'm pretty sure the Flame Troll does have it. So I went Flame Troll, Magma Dragon, um, the uh, Pygra, and then uh, Womp for this team here. Mostly just revolving it around the Magma Dragon, who also has that the uh, Red and Brown Storm. And we have red and brown troops. It needs red and brown gems on the board to do more damage. And it just is uh, synergetic here. So you want to get up the flame troll as soon as possible. And but uh, you match uh, blue and purple to do that if you need it, if you need it to. Um, I did a couple different uh, classes here. Like a, the first class I tried was Titan, and that would start the flame troll with 50% mana. Then I switched to Warlord later, so the Womp could have its uh, full spawn of gems and stuff like that. So. Yeah, Flame Troll, Magma Dragon, um, Pygra, and Womp all seem to go well together here. Magma Dragon, you might have to two-shot, but like I always say, your your spell, your your medals are going to get higher as the week goes. I went pretty deep this morning, so it probably should one-shot as long as you're just like pacing yourself throughout the week and whatnot. All right, here is the second team. This is the low-level team. It uses no legendaries and no mythics, even though I think you can get Magma Dragon in the Underworld, so pretty simple. If you're above, like, level two, 300, you should be able to go get Magma Dragon. My new account playthrough is, like, about to go get um, Underworld troops, and it's only, like, level 100, so you should be able to do that if you're over, like, level 200 to go get the Magma Dragon. But if you can't get it, we got Terraxis here. I'm using two of them. It hits all enemies, and it hits them pretty hard, too. So I like this one as well. Um, using Flammifer this time just to shake it up. Plus, I wanted some brown because the uh, Terraxis also turns blue gems to brown. Um, so we're going to have a bunch of brown on the board. And uh, might as well use something that's going to soak that up. Um, so we got the Flame Troll once again. I mean, it's got that Skull Mitigation, I'm pretty sure. It's got... Uh, it makes a bunch of red. It, like creates three red and then doubles the number of red on the board or something like that makes a bunch of red you could also use the lava troll for a couple of these teams i just kind of like the the pure red instead of like the mixture um you could use titan to once again 50 percent start your uh your um la uh troll but um i went with uh bard with this one because uh, it's a really good yellow class we got two yellow troops three yellow troops on our team it's a 50 percent start a class and I still need to level it to 100 so I was going with bard here but you can always mix and match use different classes use different weapons um, maybe you want to put something on there besides two terror axis I almost put a fire elemental I think 
Then you have the new lava worm that you could use. Um, you know, there's a couple options out there. But those things only hit one enemy and, and whatnot. So it'd be more of a mana generator than a, a damage dealer. So I just doubled up on the Terror Axis instead. So really you just want to get up your troll once again. Cast it. Make a bunch of red on the board. That should get up your Terror Axises. You cast a Terror Axis. And if you still need more damage, it's going to make a bunch of brown on the board. And you should be able to get up your Flamifer. You cast your Flamifer to finish something off. And then let's say you're like super duper deep. The Flamifer is going to make a bunch of red on the board. Get the Terror Axises up again. You cast them again. So... You know, if you can't kill them in one or two shots, you still got the uh, Lava Troll and the uh, Flamifer to make a bunch of red and brown, uh, or just red, for your for your team to get them back up. So yeah, uh, that is my two ideas for today. Uh, Magma Dragon and Terror Axis with either Flamifer or Womp. Uh, hope you guys have uh, you know good luck with this event. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel, comment below, and I will see y'all soon. Peace.